The lions in Africa are in serious trouble. Their numbers have plummeted over the last 20 years, and this is more evident in Kenya, where we estimate only 2,000 lions left in the whole country. My project is called a Waso Lions Project, which I started in 2007. We work up in northern Kenya in a place called Samburu. We work with the local communities to try and increase their tolerance towards predators and try and reduce the resentment that they have when they lose their livestock. And we have a program called Warrior Watch, which is our ambassador program that we started in January 2010. Warriors are the ones who are out in the field every day. They're the eyes and ears of the bush. They see wildlife on a daily basis, yet they're not really involved in wildlife conservation decision making. So we decided to see if they would be interested. Let's see if we could change this. Let's see if there might be a way we can involve them in conservation. So we approached them and we called five warriors to a, to a meeting. Initially, they were very suspicious and they said, why are we being called here? What have we done wrong? And we said, you've done nothing wrong. We want to see, you know, we want to talk about animals and wildlife. And their faces lit up and they said, you know, no one's ever asked us that before. We would like to. So we said, okay, let's, let's try this out. Um, we would love your wildlife information sightings. We would really encourage you to become wildlife ambassadors. What would you like in exchange from us? And they said we would like education. We've never been given the opportunity to go to school, so we don't know how to read and write. We would like you to teach us the basics. Now we've taught them how to read and write. They have GPS units, pocket binoculars, and they're out in the field every day collecting information on wildlife using their GPSs. They fill out data sheets now, and they come back to us every Sunday with these data sheets filled out on all the wildlife sightings they've had over the week. They have camera traps, um, a whole group of them now have their own camera traps, so they're able to put them out in their home areas, and they look at it as a bit of a competition. Every Sunday when they come back, they, see, they say, you know, I got a striped hyena on my camera trap, what did you get on yours? And they all compete to see who gets the better images, and this very much helps with our research objectives. So we started off this program in January 2010 with five warriors and now, almost three years later, we have 16 warriors who are really actively engaged in conservation and they've really become wildlife ambassadors in this area.